Let's start with the name of Allah, who is the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Rida Atar from the Department of Life Sciences. The topic of my presentation is animal biotechnology, breeding and their products. So first of all, I'm going to explain what is animal biotechnology. Animal biotechnology is defined as the branch of biotechnology in which molecular techniques are used to genetically engineer, that is, modify the genome of animal. Carole Arki is regarded as the father of biotechnology. The purpose of animal biotechnology is to create transgenic animals. With the help of animal biotechnology, we get super quality of milk, eggs, and wool. Moreover, we improve the rate of growth. The second slide is about how are transgenic animals created. Transgenic animals can be produced by the following principles. The first one is DNA microinjection. DNA microinjection is a technique used to create transgenic organism by injecting genetic material into the nucleus of a fertilized oocyte. Hum fertilized oocyte ke nucleus ke andar genetic material ko introduce karte hain DNA microinjection ke method ke andar. This technique is commonly used to study the role of gene using mouse animal models. The second one is embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer. It is the introduction of DNA into the embryonic stem cells. Iske andar hum DNA introduced karwate hain embryonic stem cells ke andar as we all, all know that embryonic stem cells can be differentiated into all types of cells when introduced to another embryo. The third one is retrovirus mediated gene transfer. In this method, we use retrovirus for the transfer of gene. The fourth one is sperm mediated gene transfer. In this, in this method, we use sperm as a natural vector to transport the neutralized exogenous DNA into an oocyte during fertilization to produce genetically modified organism. Moreover, we use liquor gene to attach DNA to sperm, which transferred the DNA during fertilization. The fifth one is somatic cell nuclear transfer. I'm gonna explain this one with the help of diagram. The first diagram is related to DNA, my, DNA microinjection. As you can see here is a stud male and super ovulated donor female. In ka humne aapas mein mate karwaya hai to humare paas fertilized eggs aaye hain. Then un fertilized egg ke andar humne DNA introduced karwaya hai with the help of injection papad. Then these injected eggs are transferred into the pseudo pregnant foster mother. And then here you can see that we get the genetically modified mice. So this diagram is related to somatic cell nuclear transfer. As you can see here, the, we remove the haploid nucleus from the egg cell and the egg cell is became enucleated. In this, we remove the diploid nucleus from the somatic cell of the organism to be cloned. Then we insert the diploid nucleus into the enucleated egg cell. As you can see here, we get the clone cells. For the reproduction, cloning inserted the clone embryo into the surrogate mother. With the help of this, we get the clone organism. And we all know that clone is the genetically identical of the parent. Animal breeding. Animal breeding is the process of selective mating of animals with desirable genetic traits to maintain or enhance these traits in the future generation. Hum animal breeding ke andar selective mating karwate hain animals ki taake humare hum usse desirable characteristics hasil kar sakein. Jail L. Lash is the, known as the modern father of animal biotechnology. Here are the method of 
methods of animal biotechnology. The first one is inbreeding, which is further divided into line breeding and close breeding. The second one is outbreeding, which is further divided into outcrossing breeding and cross breeding. So I'm going to differentiate between these two. First of all, I'm explaining inbreeding. Inbreeding is defined as the breeding between Animals of the same breed for four to six generation. Advantage of inbreeding is that we used to develop the pure line by increasing heterozygosity. The disadvantage of inbreeding is that it, crea it creates genetic disorder and poor health. The types of inbreeding are line breeding and close breeding. The line breeding is defined as the mating within a specific breed in which a certain number of genetic lines are available. Whereas the close breeding is defined as the most intensive breeding where animals are very closely related and can be traced back to more than one common ancestor. So here are the points of outbreeding. Outbreeding is the breeding between unrelated animals, which may be between individuals of the same breed, but having no ancestor, or between different breeds, known as crossbreeding, or different species is known as interspecific hybridization. The advantage of outbreeding is it produces hy hybrid organism with desirable traits. The disadvantage is it reduces the fitness. And jo outcrossing breeding hoti hai, iske andar, um, the mate of animals within the same breeding but having no common ancestor. Yani, koi common ancestor nahi hota. Lekin, uh, jo breed hoti hai, wo same hoti hai, but there is no common ancestor. Jabke jo cross breed hoti hai, uske andar hum, uh, we mate su superior male of one breed, one breed with the superior females of another breed. Iske andar hum do different breeds ke andar cross karwate hain. While interspecific hybridization is defined as the male and female animals of two different species. Yani do different species hoti hain. Iske example humare paas mule hai. So the last slide is about their products and goals. With the help of animal biotechnology, we develop vaccines. Bovine somatotrophin is a vaccine that is approved by the Food and Drug Authority. Uh, it is basically a somatotrophin hormone that is milk produced in the cows. Ke andar. Moreover, ye, uh, jo growth hai, usko bhi increase karwata hai aur um, achhi health karwata hai animal ki. Uske ilawa, we have test tube babies. Uh, we can create test tube babies with the help of animal biotechnology. Xeno transplantation. Uh, the word xeno derived from the Greek word which means foreign or strange. In xenotransplantation, we tran uh, in xenotransplantation, the transplantation of uh, living cells, tissue, or organs from one species to another. Such cells, tissue, and organs are called as xenografts. The third, fourth one is embryo transplantation. The fifth one is improved animal nutrition. We improve the nutrition of animal with the help of animal biotechnology by doing different uh, changes in the animal. Role in the animal biotechnology, I have described it creating transgenic animals. We uh, anim transgenic animals create transgenic animals so that we can do different uh, experiments and we can produce different products as you can see here, that mice ke upar jo hai, wo ear grow on the mice. Ye example aa jati hai xeno transplantation ki. Uske ilawa Thank you for listening.